to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. I don't know if you're still in the Catholic Church, but you may want to come out from amongst them. <laughs> Be ye clean, as the scriptures would say. Pope Francis joined some Anglicans and Presbyterians leaders to denounce anti-LGBTQ laws. The Pope and these so-called ministers says that the LGBT people should be welcome in the churches. Now, I want to clip some first before I get on my soapbox. Nobody should be having any violence towards anybody for being gay, even though we disagree with the lifestyle you can't. Nobody should be advocating violence. Having said that, that ain't the Pope's job. The Pope's job is to try to talk about what the Scripture says, and somebody needs to act the Pope. What does the Scripture say about homosexuality. See, it doesn't matter what the Pope says. It doesn't matter what I say. What does the scripture say about it? See, God hates all sin, and calling sin something else does not change the fact that it's a sin. That's why in, in, in Romans chapter 1 it says, the wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godliness and wickedness of people. All. A-L-L. Big word. A-L-L. See, all. God hates all sin. Jesus didn't just die for the sins of the homosexual. He died for the sins of the world. That means lying, cheating, adultery, fornication. All of it is a sin. Murder. It's all sin. Abortion. It's a sin. Calling some not a sin because the government says it's not a sin does not change the facts of what the word of God says. I don't get my marching orders from the damn government. What the government says don't mean a hill of beans mean when it actually contradicts what the word of God says. And according to scriptures, now I know the Pope doesn't read the Bible. I know he uses a lot of profanity. He's supposed to be the Pope, the vicar of Christ. Are you freaking kidding me? A clown with no Jesus. Jesus is not even welcome anywhere the Pope is talking. The Holy Spirit is, vo is, is void. You think the, the Pope is full with the Holy Spirit? Are you freaking kidding me? Because that's why the scriptures go on and say, since what we may be known about God is plain to them. See, once you keep ignoring this, God finally says, here, what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you over to yourself. Therefore, God gave them over to sinful desires of their hearts, to sexual impurities, for the degrading of their bodies with one another. They exchanged the truth about God for a lie. Here, I'm going to trade the truth in for a lie. I like to do a trade in. Here's a lie. Uh, uh, here's my here's the truth of the Bible. I'm gonna trade it and give me the lies and says that you were born that way. The LGBTQ, you were born. No, you wasn't. You could be delivered too. Yes, you could be delivered. Guaranteed freedom, victory. Says we wrote a book. Did you know that you can get that book? It 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 helps freeze your mind up because this is a spiritual warfare. So you're fighting a spiritual warfare and you got demons like the Pope, these phony preachers. Uh, the so-called government, it is a spiritual warfare. It's not a carnal warfare. See, carnal weapons do not work in a spiritual warfare. That's why, you don't. the devil's not scared of carnal weapons. You can't educate this demon out of these people. You cannot finance this demon out of these people. You cannot cause violence to get the demon out of the people unless you go to the violence of the Holy Ghost to get it out of them. See, they exchange the truth about of God for a lie, and they worship and serve created things rather than the creator they can we can throw climate change in now that's a sin too idolatry is a sin you know that right worshiping the earth is a sin but the thing is is that when paul says that and they worship and serve created things rather than the creator who is forever praised amen he said put a period there because of this god gave them over to shameful lusts even their women exchange natural sexual relations uh, for unnatural ones in the same way the men also abandoned natural relations with women see it was natural man and woman is natural did you get that the pope i don't know if you ever read that before pope he says and then what happened is that the men also abandoned their natural relation with women and were inflamed with lust one for another men committing shameful acts with other men and receive to themselves the due penalty. I don't want to hear you trying to spin that text. Well, it's not natural if you wasn't born that way. I'm not I'm not entertaining that. It's foolishness. If it was once abomination in the Old Testament, when you get to the New Testament, you're not going to sugarcoat it. 
It ain't many things he calls abomination, right? But it's calls abomination <clears throat> for a reason. And, and it, the psyche, what it does to the mind, that's why they're not really happy. I'm praying for you that you come out of that particular bondage because it is a bondage and it has them in captivity. But uh, the master can free you of your bondage. The Pope can't do it because the Pope is in bondage too. When he has these fits of rage and he starts cursing, Saul, uh, the first king of Israel, used to do the same thing. He would have these fits of rage and David would come in and play music to try to calm this demon in him down. Pope has a demon in him. Yes, he does. I said it. He has a spirit of Antichrist located in his person. And he needs to have that demon exercised out. Don't let the Pope pray for you. I don't want that demon laying hands on me. Uh-uh. What can he do for you when he's in bondage? How can somebody in bondage offer you freedom? I don't get it. See, you have to be able to be delivered from a bondage yourself. You're going to help somebody else. You drown and tell them to save somebody while you drown it. The Pope, this country, the, the, this church who's uh, promoting this right, they're drowning deep in sin. That's why the Catholic Church have so many child molesters in there. It's because it's just drowning in filth. Because the Holy Spirit is not welcome now. You don't want me to preach, do you? I'm just trying to help the homosexual community. You can be delivered. I'm trying to help those who keep deceiving these people. See, just like all sin is sin, and it, it, sin is a breaking of God's law. That's what sin technically is, no matter which one you name. A little white lie, that's breaking God's law. Going broke back mountain is breaking of God's law. That's just a fact. It's not hate speech. I'm trying to help you. Do you not want to be delivered? As Jesus says, do you want to be made whole or do you want to pretend? You will never have peace. No matter how much they have operations and pretend and have parades and stuff, do they seem happy? They're living in misery and the Pope and these fake preachers want to help their miseries. They're driving off the cliff and they're mashing on the gas saying drive faster. Advocating saying accept people in church. See, Jesus will accept you like you are, but he's not going to leave you like that. Oh, no. What kind of savior would that be? You come in, you say, I'm going to clean this homeless person up. They're filthy, dirty, filthy as I don't know what. You say, I'm going to just leave them filthy. Go sleep in the bed. We need to take a bath. No, no, when you come to him, you got to take a bath. You got to repent and take a bath. It also means the LGBTQ. What makes you think you're special that you don't have to repent? Everybody got to repent. When it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It was talking about you too. Got to repent. See, that's the problem is nobody talks about it. You think T.D. Jakes really talks about that? T.D. Jakes talking about somebody, thou art loose, woman thou art loose. He's in bondage. How is he loosing somebody when he's in bondage? Come out the closet, by the way. How Joe Osteen is come as he is. How is he going to make you free? Cleflo Dollar. His last name is Dollar. Do we need to even speak any more on that? <laughs> Kenneth Copeland. You freaking kidding me? Talking about his airplanes. How is airplanes going to help save the soul? You think what they're saying is that I need this airplane to do this. No, you don't. I don't know how Jesus and the apostles, uh, Jesus got the apostles to spread the gospel without having airplanes and chariots. You ain't got no word in you. You ain't got no spirit in you. The devil ain't scared of you, demon. And telling people what they want to hear does not save them, does not help them. Stop the madness. Stop it. Be honest. And he will set you free. That's what he said. He came to set the captives free. And somebody somebody said, well, that's, you just, that's too much preaching right there. But that's what it's about. That's how you're going to get them delivered. You can't deliver them by carnal weapons. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God for the pulling down of stronghold, casting imagination, and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So you got to pull down these strongholds. Your mind is, a, is, is at war. And they're being tormented, and people are still trying to have them delivered. The Jesus went up on people that was demon-possessed. And he started saying, like, okay, just stay like that. I just love you like you is. Oh, I just love you like you is. Come on, blind man. I just Stay blind, but I love you. Woman with the issue of blood, keep your issue of blood, but I love you. I love you. The man who came out with, with the legion of demons in here. <laughs> oh, I just love those legions of demons and you. Stay in the same state you in because you was born that way. It's foolishness. The Pope don't know Jesus. Stop telling these people that they were born this way. You're not helping them. I want to help you get delivered. 
Matter of fact, the LGBTQ should love me. I'm going to make you change your name, too. Instead of the LGBTQ, you're going to start calling it the Christian organization. Because we're going to start having some church get you delivered out of this bondage that you're in. Cutting off healthy body parts is not good for you. You mean to tell me that your tallywhacker was not meant to be on your body? You mean to tell me your breasts was not meant to be on your body if you female? Freaking nonsense is this. Come on, the Pope is dangerous. Somebody needs to stop him. He's harming more people than he's helping. He's of the devil. It's a fact.